Hi guys, today I want to show you how I edited this photo. Este tutorial está subtitulado en español si prefieres. Ok, let's start. So I opened the photo in Photoshop. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to work with curves. I'm going to make shadows slightly up. And then to make something like this line to add a little bit of the contrast. So the next thing I'm going into curves and I'm going to the red channel and I want to make shadows a little bit red but in the in the skin I want to reduce it a little bit. So to return it here a little bit. So the next step I'm going to selective color and uh, in yellow I'm going to add black in yellow yeah I think like this is okay and we're going to the red channel and also I'm going to add black like this and um, and a little bit of yellow yeah something like that so like this we can see this the skin better yeah so like this we have skin not so pale the next thing i'm i, I just like to make one more selective color i'm going again to yellow and i want to add a little bit of red in yellow and a little bit yellow is just more more intense color and I want to add like a lot of black and I want to take brush and choose black color and I want to mask the skin or I don't know unmask the skin I think so we will be adding this just to the flowers and the background but not for the skin not to be too much intense in the skin yeah okay the next thing i want to do is i will add contrast i will go to hue saturation i i already know i will have to make a little bit more light lightness and we will choose what is a soft light yeah and we will change opacity like like 25 27% yeah that's looking great the next thing i want to make shadows not so dark i think and so i will go to brightness and this is how i like to make shadows more bright this is I think you can make it with curves, but this way I like more. I will just add brightness like this, but now the brightness is everywhere in the light parts, but I want it to be just in the shadows. So I'll go to image, apply image and layer background, blending mode normal, and I will choose invert. Like this, our brightness will be applied just to dark parts of the photo so and I will change the opacity to 39% just to bring a little bit the light to the dark parts of our photo the next thing I think I want to add a little bit magenta and blue in the black parts of the photo in the shadows so I go to selective color black magenta plus two and yellow minus two which is blue so like this we're adding a little bit magenta and blue in the black parts and because i feel like we have a lot of yellow in our light parts so adding a little bit blue and magenta in the black parts just making 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 some contrast so the next thing i want to do is I want to go to color lookup and I want to mm, and I want to choose let me see 
no not this one no yeah actually it was this one yeah this one but i'm changing capacity yeah like 17 percent so to add a little bit of light the next thing i want to do is i want to um, go to levels and to make it darker like about this and to make it lighter and in the middle I will move like like this so it's pretty dark but we're going to apply it only to the um, light parts of the photo so we're going to image apply image uh, background RGB normal and we remove invert so like this it's applied just to the light parts of the photo not to all photo yeah that's looking great and the next thing i want to do is i want to go to photo filter i want to choose color something like this blue some kind of blue and uh, no normal just i want to lower opacity and I also want to apply this just to the light parts of the photo. So I go to apply image, background, normal, not invert. Okay. Yeah, like this. Like this is looking good. So the next thing, oh, even I think I'll go to 100. Yeah. That's looking perfect. The next thing I want to do is I will go to... I, I think I want to add... Let me... me I want to add some light here in this corner where... Because the light is coming from this side to her hair. So I want to add some light here. So I go to gradient. And I want to choose intense yellow color something something like this i will move it a little bit here so so or actually we can choose not linear i like also diamond because it's just having this kind of shape which i feel is more natural so yeah here you can change the size how big you want it you can move it just grab and move it and we will choose overlay yeah that's looking great so we're adding more light here and maybe the last thing i will do is i go to selective color again and i will go to yellow and i want to add a more red and more yellow yeah to add some sunshine look so let's now group all our layers and you can see before and after thank you so much for watching and if you like this tutorial please give it a like and if you like my channel please guys subscribe to it i really will be very happy i have many more ideas of tutorials of photoshop and some tips of photography. I'm gonna share with you everything what I know about photography.